last five. I'm moreover alarmed by reports that on the night of 22 December, September, another peaceful gathering of activists protesting forced eviction at the Bangkok Lake area was forcibly dispersed by a group of persons in plain clothes in visibly co close coordination with the police present. About a dozen persons were said to have been beaten, struck with marbles, fired from slingshots and hit with eastern guns and electric batons. In urging the authorities in the strongest possible terms to refrain from further use of violence, I underscore that peaceful assembly is a human right, subject only to restrictions which are strictly necessary in a democratic society. While the law enforcement, may, um, while the law enforcement has a duty to enforce safety and public order for the international community, including that of my mandate, to continue in assisting the people and the government of Cambodia take the road towards a fuller liberal democracy underpinned by sustainable peace and equitable economic development. Thank you for your attention. Thank you for your presentation. I shall now give the floor to the Kyrgyz representative of Cambodia to speak as concerned country. Distinguished Ambassador, you have five minutes. Thank you, Madam President. As a concerned country, the delegation of Cambodia referred to report Professor Surya Subhadi, the special rapporteur on the situation of human rights in Cambodia. We would like once again to welcome his annual report on the situation of human rights in Cambodia, which is submitted for consideration of the Human Rights Council at this current session. We appreciate the constructive cooperation with the special rapporteur has extended to the royal government of Cambodia, the parliament and other stakeholders in Cambodia especially during his last two subsequent visits to the countries. The delegation of Cambodia sent the special rapporteur for his recognition of some appropriate achievement in Cambodia. So the negotiation in addressing the shortcoming relating to the dispute involving some of case on alleged irregularities. <coughs> they have reached agreement on some of issues, including the issue of reform of the National Election Committee. At the opening ceremony of the Fifth National Assembly held yesterday, His Majesty the King, who presided over the meeting, had called for highest national unity and solidarity. Thank you, Madam Vice, Vice President. Chaban thank the rapporteur for his dedicated efforts, including his reports and, and his presentation today. We welcome the fact that constructive working relationship is being built between the Special Rapporteur and the Government of Cambodia and yeah. hope that it will continue. Japan appreciates the gradual progress on the human rights situation in Cambodia in the 20 years since the Paris Peace Agreements. We hope that the government and all relevant actors in Cambodia will continue to cooperate with UN human rights mechanisms, including the Special Rapporteur and the OHCHR Secretariat, and make further efforts to address the remaining challenges. To establish the rule of law and judiciary independence in Cambodia, Japan has been supporting the development of civil law and civil procedure codes and providing technical assistance for judges and prosecutors on civil law. However, three draft laws on judiciary independence have long been under examination for crimes against the Cambodian people, but remains concerned about the Chamber's financial situation. We urge the Cambodian government to honour its commitments to the Chambers in this regard. Australia thanks the Special Rapporteur for the thorough analytical reports he has produced. We urge the mandate for this important mission to be extended. Thank you, Madam Vice President. Thank you. This was the last speaker that we could accommodate at this meeting today. Uh, excellencies, ladies and gentlemen, this brings us to the end of this meeting for today. We shall reconvene after a short technical break to hold a standalone high-level interactive dialogue on Somalia. The interactive dialogue with...